So I was thinking the other day, has AI actually made coding less fun? Like before, we would write code ourselves and spend hours on a tiny bug going back and forth on Stack Overflow. We would stare at the screen, questioning our life choice. But when it used to finally work, we would get that sense of achievement and feel like the best coder in the world. But now you just tell AI to code the feature or paste the error, and it spits out the code in seconds. Where's the struggle? Where's the thinking? Where's the romance of coding? And where is the broken keyboard? So here's the thing. AI tools like Cursor, ChatGPT, all that, they've basically become our coding assistant. But in this teamwork, our role has become more like a manager. We don't do the heavy work. We manage the work and plan what to do. AI, on the other hand, does the actual coding work. I mean, things are faster, errors are less, but is coding still fun like it used to be? You know what I miss? The struggle and the sense of accomplishment that came after writing code on our own. Like those nights where we'd be staring at our screen, trying to find why your loop isn't looping or your if statements lying and your code's just gaslighting you at this point. We would try 10 random fixes. None of them would work, but the moment you think you've finally found the solution and it actually turns out to work, that's the feeling we've lost. Now AI just looks at your code and find what the error was within seconds. But the struggle was the fun part. It's like playing a game on easy mode. You still win, but you don't feel like you earned it. And here's the weird part. We don't even feel like we are actually coding anymore. It's more like we are curating what the AI gives us. Like we just tell AI what to do, and then we just sit there proofreading the code. It's like going from being the chef to being the judge. I'm no longer creating. I'm just checking and approving. And maybe that's the real reason it feels a little empty inside. Because deep down, half the fun was getting our hands dirty, writing ugly code, breaking things, and fixing them again. But then again, maybe we're just being dramatic. The old feeling of coding on our own may not be lost, but these feelings now come from a different place. Like, maybe the joy of coding didn't die. Maybe it just moved. I mean, we're not sitting there crying over missing parentheses anymore, but now we're doing cooler stuff. We can literally build a full app idea in a weekend. We can explore new things, try different ideas, and experiment more. The struggle isn't gone. It's just shifted. Instead of fighting bugs, we're now fighting on how creative we can be or how well we can make use of the AI. It's less about how do I make this code run and more about what cool thing can I build next, which honestly might be the better problem to have. It's like going from playing with Lego blocks to designing an entire city. So maybe the joy didn't vanish. Maybe it just evolved. Less about typing code, more about dreaming what's possible. Less about solving bugs, more about implementing ideas. So yeah, maybe AI has changed how we code. It surely has taken away a bit of that pain, that chaos, that I did it moment. But honestly, maybe that's fine. Because the fun of coding was never just about typing or debugging. It was about solving problems. The way I see it is, AI isn't the enemy of coding joy. It's like that super productive teammate who does all the boring stuff while you get to focus on the fun part. We need to learn how to ask better questions, think bigger, and not let the AI do all the thinking for us. Because at the end of the day, AI can write the code, but it still needs us to decide what's worth building. And maybe that's where the new joy of programming really lives. So what do you think? Has AI actually made coding less fun? Or are we just nostalgic for the struggle? I'm genuinely curious. Drop your thoughts below because I feel like every dev has their own take on this. For me, I think coding is still fun, just in a different way now. Anyway, if you like this little brain dump, give it a like. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.